puts insects as ingredients. It doesn't have to be so scary as people think, you know, on Survivor when they make it such a big deal to eat a bug, right? Well, like, there are many things on our food labels today that we can't even pronounce. We don't know what they are. Uh, they might not even be great mm. for us because of, you know, whatever they're trying to accomplish, whether it's to absorb moisture or make it tasty or whatever it is, a preservative. Cricket is a whole food, right? So why wouldn't we add that to the ingredient list if, we, if we're not compromising experience? Our food systems, there isn't one solution. I don't think that crickets alone or even insects alone are going to save the world on the level we need saving, right? But I do think that they could be a really crucial piece to the puzzle. If you're asking people to eat something good, instead of telling them not to eat something that is less good, whether that's for personal nutrition or the environment, if they will just eat that good thing in that positive way, they're gonna have less space in their belly for other things. So on a very simple level, any little bit of it that you eat is going to have an impact. It's gonna have an environmental impact and a health impact. I don't wanna exclude anybody from this food story. So I'm not an extremist, even though it kind of feels like I am when I talk to people because they're like, well, she's really, she's preparing for the end of time. She wants us to eat bugs. It's not really like that at all. I just wanna provide an alternative that can have a great impact. I can't do it alone. It's not the only thing that's going to work. Here we have the crickets low at the food chain. They reproduce uh, quickly and efficiently and they meet all sorts of nutritional needs that we have. So in that way, I hope that people can open their minds and just see this makes so much sense. And traditionally in our food story, most humans come from genetic lines that used this as a food staple, not only in absence of other proteins, but just as a, a main food staple. And it has been hypothesized by some scientists that this is one of the reasons why we evolve so efficiently because of our ability to forage for this protein source in absence of other protein, but also one of the reasons why our brains grew so big because of our, our ability to forage for this really high fatty protein source of food. So super interesting stuff. <laughs>